Advanced Diagnostics and Therapeutics, the science of engineering a healthier world. What happens when Notre Dame scientists and engineers collaborate in unprecedented ways? When they are focused on applying discoveries in the lab to the areas of highest need around the world? When dozens of the nation's top faculty and scores of its best students work with public and private partners to combat disease, promote health, and safeguard the environment? The University of Notre Dame's Advanced Diagnostics and Therapeutics Initiative is answering these questions today as it creates the personalized healthcare and environmental monitoring technologies of the coming century. So as we imagine what the world of 2040 might look like, it's very clear that individuals want to have access to very good information about their health and about the environment that they find themselves in. This effort isn't so much about imagining what the future will look like, but rather about building the tools that will allow us to get there. Advanced Diagnostics and Therapeutics is the fastest growing molecular detection group in the country, and it has many of the same traits as a startup company. It has the flexibility to take advantage of new ideas and a strong focus on results. Notre Dame has a storied tradition in science and engineering. Advanced diagnostics and therapeutics provide something different by enabling new levels of cooperation. The initiative is fertile ground where investigators from across disciplines can quickly cultivate new ideas and apply them to solving real world problems. And those problems are among our most challenging. AD&T is tackling critical problems in cancer, such as the early detection of ovarian cancer through innovative approaches in finding specific markers. Being able to detect these microvesicles in body fluids could enable early detection of tumors, possibly without the need of surgical intervention. It could lead to better treatment strategies and ultimately improve the lives of cancer patients. Other programs are creating portable diagnostic tests for the developing world. Their emphasis is on creating technologies that can be widely distributed to those who need them most. Paper analytical devices are cheap, they're portable, and they don't take any power and they're designed to detect fake drugs in developing nations. They're high-tech devices that are designed to work under field conditions, and in some ways that's even harder than high-tech devices that are designed to work in a nice clean lab. In the field of microfluidics, Dr. Chia Chang is developing a different, portable, and rapid technology that could also revolutionize the detection of diseases and environmental contaminants. Many of the same diagnostic tools used for human health can be applied to the environment as well. AD&T is developing technologies that monitor problems created by changing ecosystems, such as the spread of disease through insect migration and more virulent food contamination. What I'm working on at AD&T is bringing cutting edge technologies and research into the field, providing farmers with the information they need to make rapid decisions. More than 50 undergraduates work in AD&T affiliated labs each year, and many are using that experience as a jumping off point to careers in entrepreneurship and further research. Edward Larkin, a recent Notre Dame valedictorian, credits his hands-on experience conducting AD&T related research with shaping his decision to pursue advanced degrees in both public health policy and medicine. AD&T is a core part of the growing innovation ecosystem at the university, and it is committed to finding markets for new discoveries. The folks at AD&T really do understand what it takes to commercialize technology. We're looking forward to working with them on new projects in the future. There are a number of exciting discoveries coming out of AD&T's labs with great business potential for the future. Outside funding for Notre Dame research is at record levels and AD&T faculty have contributed to those numbers by securing major research grants from the National Institutes of Health, the National Science Foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and other public and private funders. Advanced Diagnostics and Therapeutics has made great progress in just a few years, but these successes are only beginning steps. The road to the mid-20th century is long, and the problems we are tackling are only growing in complexity and impact. This type of an investment, such as the AD&T initiative, 
has enabled Notre Dame researchers to pursue innovative and high-risk projects. Not all will pan out, but some will, and Notre Dame and society at large will benefit because of it. This is an ambitious vision to be sure, but it's the kind of vision that has defined the University of Notre Dame over the years. This is exactly the right place to try to combine high-level science with a focus on social justice and serving mankind that is so integral to the university. To learn more about this important Notre Dame effort, please visit advanceddiagnostics.nd.edu.